Thanks for your opinion. Thank you very much to you. <laughs> Uh, less crowded than Milan last year, nevertheless interesting, yes? The last night to enjoy in Gothenburg. <laughs> Thank you, boss. So, Alessandra, how did you enjoy the sessions, the scientific sessions? Did you like them? Yes, I liked them. They were really interesting. Really interesting. Did you prefer the one on the exome uh, variant analysis yes, or the I one on CNVs? I prefer analysis of the variant. Paolo, what is your impression of the conference? Did you like it? My impression, very impressive. Very impressed? Did you like the city, Gothenburg? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't see the city. <laughs> I liked this congress, I liked this um, event. We had good contact. There are new technologies arising now, for example, Oxford Nanopore technology. It could be the jump, the technical jump between next generation sequencing and the future. So we will see, we will see. We, we, have, will a, see. we have a lot of material, a lot of stuff uh, with which we could implement, we could build up some new analysis. We will see. We will see. We will see. Okay. <laughs> So also this uh, European Society of uh, Human Genetics meetings uh, has ended. This kind of events are very important for us, not only for uh, commercial connections, but also to stay up to date with the newest scientific uh, uh, developments, to continue to educate ourselves, to improve the quality of what uh, we are doing. Just to give you an example uh, of the new genes that have been presented here, uh, new genes which are not in the public databases yet MN1 mutations TFE3, Caprin1, KLHL24, Neurog1, uh, CSNK2B, FNDC3B, TSHZ1, UNC45A, VPS26C, GBF1, FXL1 and NFA. SC. If you're wondering if uh, we will include all uh, these genes in our next exome analysis, you can bet on it. Yes, we will do it.